Okay, question six. Um, so we're on uh, the method of differences thing here. We did this was this was not badly done. So I we seem to get this. Um, show that. <laughs> show that that equals that. So it's putting over a common denominator. So we need to. Well, the first fraction will go to r squared, r plus 2 squared, and the top line we need to multiply by an r plus 2 squared. The second fraction we need to multiply by an r squared. So we find ourselves here um, with that classic potential for a banana skin of r plus 2 all squared. We're not going to write r squared plus 4 because we wouldn't do that at the further maths level. Um, <laughs> It goes to that. So the r squared subtracts away and we're left with 4r plus 4. In other words, 4 brackets r plus 1 over r squared r plus 2 squared. There we go. Easy two marks. Find an expression in terms of n for, for this thing here. Well, you, you correctly spotted that whenever we get this kind of two fractions combining to one single, single term, and then we do a series involving it. It's the method of differences stuff. So really, the question is saying, find the sum as r goes from 1 to n. What am I doing there? 1 to n. Sorry. I got carried away and wrote it both at once. Of 1 over r squared minus 1 over r plus 2 squared. But the added complication which you would have spotted this, it didn't just drop out super easy, did it? That's 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9, plus 1 over 2 squared, so 1 over 4, minus 1 over 4 squared. <coughs> and then we'd have 1 over 3 squared, minus 1 over 5 squared. And then 1 over 4 squared minus 1 over 6 squared. And, and we've, we've got enough there, haven't we, to see the pattern. But we see that we've got quite an offset in when things are cancelling out, haven't we? At the end of it, we really need to show, we always need to show at least two terms. We kind of almost need three terms to really see what's going on. But we can get away with just two. So the last term would be 1 over n squared minus 1 over n plus 2 squared. The term before that would be 1 over n minus 1 squared minus 1 over n plus 1 squared and the term before that would be 1 over n minus 2 squared minus 1 over n squared we've got, we've got more than enough to see what's going on but this is quite an important point with this um, there, was, there was at least one person who, who may have got this written correctly but then very aggressively crossed things out to the point that I couldn't tell what had originally been there. So I know that you're going to cross these out to show the cancelling, but you're going to do it very, very gently to make sure, well, more gently than that maybe, to make sure that it's really clear what used to be there. And there's everything cancelled out. And we can see that we're left with, at the end of it all, We're left with, up at the top here, we have a 1 plus a quarter. And at the end here, we have a minus 1 over n plus 1 squared, minus 1 over n plus 2 squared. And actually, at that point, where we get to this point, we have achieved all of the marks. Because it didn't say anything more you are than joking. find an expression. <laughs> So if you really want to, you can do more with this. I did, I did another line when I was working this out, but I didn't do any more than that. And I don't think there's any need, I don't think there's any need to get into doing any more than that. You get the marks when you see it. Uh, yeah, you did that, didn't you? You then he got it wrong. He crossed out his answer. It's more of a... He crossed out his answer. answer. It's you just like that. gave him the marks. Yeah, that was that's right. Outrageous. That's that's the answer. But he wrote the wrong answer. But, but that's that's my point. James. That you ignore subsequent. James, this this argument is all gone. Ah, he does. That's right. He doesn't care. <laughs> no, it's all gone wrong for him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and now we need 
to find the sum as r goes from 5 to infinity of this thing that we've got. Well, we need to think, how does that relate to what we started with? Um, well, well, actually, uh, again, there are a few ways that we can think about this. It's the sum, the sum from, um, from 5 to infinity, isn't it? So that is... I did a little helpful thing to, to think this through. That's the sum as we go from 1 to infinity. Take away the first four terms. Okay, so it's take away the sum as we go from 1 up to 4. And that leaves us with 5 up to infinity as the remaining bit. So subbing those in, this expression here, if as we go to infinity... The first bit, well, that bit goes to zero as n gets bigger. That bit goes to zero as n gets bigger. So the sum to infinity is 5 over 4. Now we need to work out what else we're going to do with that. We're going to take away the sum of the first four terms, which is 5 over 4 minus 1 over 5 squared minus 1 over 6 squared. So the 5 over 4 cancels out, and we're left with a 25th plus a 36th, which combines to give something, doesn't it? 61 over 900. So your final answer. Again, there were, there's more than one way of working that out, but that's what I did for that one. That's like an efficient way of doing it. And there's a clue here, isn't there? You notice that when we do this sum from 5 to infinity, we do from 1 to infinity and take away 1 to 4, not 1 to 5. Bear that in mind for what's coming later on.